Welcome to the very first episode of the Jukes Academy, Academy Podcast. In this episode, we will have an interview with Miss Goggins, a featured track by Tolga in 11H, the latest news and announcements, and a competition to spice things up. Without further ado, let's get on to the interview led by Julia as we get to know your teachers, get to know your teachers, yeah! Hi Miss, how do you feel being on the first episode of the Jukes Academy Podcast? I feel very honoured, very proud, although I do think there's a slight bit of pressure, but yeah, overall very pleased, thank you. No pressure involved. So we do have a few questions that the student wanted to ask you, and the first one is a very generic question. What do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, In my spare time, I'm a big fan of reading. I read a lot of fiction, so I like to read every single day. Um, I'm a keen cyclist, especially when the weather's like today, nice and sunny. Um, I like being outside in general, so I'm quite happy to go for lots of walks. I live near Hampstead Heath, so that's important to me to get some fresh air. Um, And also, I'm very excited to see cinemas and theatres opening again soon to go out and enjoy plays and films. I'm very glad the weather is in your favour. If you were stranded on an island, what three items would you take with you? Okay, this is obviously very hard. I thought, if possible, if you allow me, I would like an unlimited supply of fiction books, ideally written by women. That's how I tend to try and choose my books. Um, Then I was trying to think of something practical, so something to keep me exercising. I don't really like running, so I wondered about possibly, this sounds so silly, maybe having some weights or some kind of exercise equipment to try and keep fit and busy. Um, And then the third thing, I guess I think, and again, need to be quite practical, something to do with cooking so some kind of I guess stove and pots and pans to try and help me when I'm eating berries and random things on this deserted island I assume. All right thank you. Um, If you weren't a teacher what would you be? Um, To be honest I pretty much always wanted to be a teacher. I have memories of growing up playing with my younger sister and lining up our teddies as though they were in assembly Um, and I think I kind of always just sounds so cliched it was a bit of a calling I've always really enjoyed it I still enjoy it after a long time of teaching um, so yeah I think pretty much always wanted to be a teacher which celebrity would you have dinner with dead or alive again this is really hard like I keep thinking of musicians that I really like too many options too many options too much choice um, recently I well actually it was yesterday I listened to a, a Desert Island Discs podcast on BBC Radio 4 with Maggie O'Farrell who is a brilliant writer who's just won the Women's Prize for Fiction for her novel Hamnet which is based on Shakespeare's son and I've seen her speak once before and she seemed really interesting she's had quite a troubled life I've really enjoyed all of her novels so I think possibly her to talk to her about writing and reading and fiction and she spoke interestingly she said she'd been born I think she was born in Northern Ireland and moved to Scotland or maybe the other way around and she talked about kind of feeling a little bit she wasn't always entirely sure where she belonged and it made me think I feel a little bit the same I feel like my head and my heart sometimes have this battle between whether I belong in Yorkshire or London and I kind of thought she would be someone really interesting to chat to so maybe if she's cooking dinner for us or we have a nice meal. Yeah, maybe Maggie O'Farrell. I would definitely recommend her novels. A good choice. All right, well, thank you for this interview, Miss. And I'm very glad to have you on the podcast and I hope we can feature you on another episode. Oh yeah, always happy to chat, you know me. Thank you, well done, girls. I'm proud of you, well done. What an insightful interview. Now onto the smashing hit, Desire, by Tolga Year 11. Have a listen. They're hating on me, but they really do desire So many haters, I think I'm on fire Be a real woman, do I really do inspire? I wanna be rich, trust me, no liar No time for party, rise up my money Cutting all these stacks, shall I spend it on the money? Louis V, Gucci, also got the Prada All of my real G, screaming TS, go harder Shall I switch it up or keep it the same? My last girl's attitude really do sting If I step back and kick back, really got me stressing These roles are dangerous, you should do your lesson This kind of funny, half of your hair is really got no money I had brethren who really did me funny the thing is all long I'm the judge and the jury 
My heart is so pure, I can say that surely Scaring the benzo fully, gas fully Big men scare neeks, grow up with bullies R.I.P. for to ripping it, allow me Money come long, every day in the county I know how you feeling without me, without me Guess you should be happy, so feeling all cloudy Stop hating on me, I see go get that Audi Love the M-Way and you know I be killing it Drip on me, I'm trying to spill it Positive vibes, I'm really do giving it All of this cash and you know I'm bringing it All the light targets, I'm really hitting it Hits on hits, I guess I ain't missing it Hits on hits, I guess I ain't missing it All the light targets, you know I'm hitting it I'm hitting it if you want your track to be featured on the next episode, be sure to send your music track to the music podcast at dukesacademy.org.uk. Now on to the news and announcements. A little birdie told me that instrumental lessons are starting up again. If you are interested in learning any instruments, please fill in an application form that you can get from any member of the music department and pay on parent pay. Don't forget that the clocks go forward this weekend, so sadly you will miss an hour of sleep. No! Current standing in the race for house points, we have 4th place Adkins on 249 points, 3rd is Byrne with 253 house points, Tull in 2nd with 259 and 1st Wallace with 261. A very close match, so get earning those house points. The last day of the spring time is Wednesday 31st of March for all. The weather forecast for next week is... Unpredictable. It's competition time. The competition for this episode is to guess which of our wonderful staff has worked here the longest. You can email us your answers and we'll be announcing the winner on Friday 23rd of April on our next podcast episode. The winner receives a £5 voucher for a number of selected retailers, so get guessing. Thank you all for tuning in and I hope to see you on the next episode of the Dukes Academy Podcast. Podcast.